So all this craziness started on Friday. I uh, ordered a, a deal to mow the lawn, and uh, if I would have known someone was going to invite the uh, bulls and cows over for dinner, I would have waited and not bought the uh, deal to mow the lawn. I've had lots of cheeseburgers over for dinner, but uh, this was a little different. Maybe they came back for revenge. Anyway, if you have a weak stomach or easily grossed out, don't watch the next part because you're going to see some big piles. Uh, it all started Friday morning when I went out to uh, put my trash out. I saw what I thought was a big black bag on the ground. Walked over and uh, yeah, that, that was no trash bag. <laughs> that was a pile. It looked like a dinosaur just uh, walked through and uh, left something behind. And uh, anyway, yeah, that's uh, yeah, pretty big. Anyway, I figured it must have been cows, you know, or I didn't know it was bulls. But um, anyway, uh, here uh, the next morning, saw they had gone uh, through my yard to see the hoof prints and the piles and. Uh, Yep, pretty crazy. And that's when I noticed that they had uh, decided to mow the lawn for me. Which uh, I was kind of, it was growing kind of long and I was saving the special deal to make a video for you guys to show you a special tool. But uh, yeah, they actually uh, mowed it for me. So uh, here it is, they walked all the way down the slope here. Uh, messed up my drip system a bit and uh, so um, this was still the first day first morning I could see the traces of where they'd gone around we, I have the next night they got in and totally wreaked havoc uh, ate all the rose heads and ate uh, lots of plants and uh, when they tried to get out, it was actually some bulls, and, and uh, one of them fell and fell into my fence. Broke part of it apart. Pretty crazy. I was really glad they didn't hit the propane tank. <laughs> Yeah, fortunately, I'm uh, two, uh, able to bulls fix the fence. Came in the yard and they busted up my fence. Pretty crazy. Gonna have to fix that up. <laughs> so, checking for damages here. And uh, not sure if they are going to come back. Couldn't see much up there, but not sure. Better watch where I step. around didn't see um, much more signs of them checking my little bit of a vegetable garden but Oops. at this point like I lost one of my solar lights oh boy it looks like they hadn't been back there There's the 
tracks. Yeah, no bull. Later that night, uh, peeked up over the fence, and that's when I seen him. Big horns, and uh, was level, about as tall as I am, uh, with the head right next to the fence. And uh, so I kind of grabbed the camera and, uh, you know, I, I shouted at it to leave. I'm not sure. It probably wasn't really a good idea to yell at it. I told it to get out of there. But uh, anyway, it walked across and walked down the street. But when it was closer, it had big horns, huge horns. It's kind of almost stunning. Like <laughs> all of a sudden you're face to face with this like minotaur, you know. <laughs> it's pretty crazy wasn't really expecting it. Uh, later I watched it walk down the street. It uh, really didn't come through here but it was headed west. There goes Cheeseburger walking towards Los Angeles. Look out in the Empire. I uh, really um, didn't know how many of them there was. Okay, so here uh, it was the next morning, and they had actually come back again and uh, trampled through, kind of messed up the uh, drip system. So I went through and checked each zone and found uh, some missing heads, so fixed that, fixed a couple other things on the drip line. And uh, they had uprooted plants, eight uh, plants, just this one they would pulled right out. Yeah, here's some tracks, and anyway... Um, at this point, I decided to call somebody, figure out what I needed to do, called Animal Control, and um, what I needed to do was call what's called a brand inspector. And I got a hold of the brand inspector, and that's when they coordinated, uh, you know, having the people whose cows it was, uh, yeah. calling the Wranglers, you know, plants, get get them up. So at this oh, point, uh, this yeah, snack attack. That's where it's at. Trampled through the uh, garden. Crazy. All the research online uh, didn't really uh, tell who you needed to call, and who you need to call is the brand inspector. They, they're able to uh, tell whose cows it is, so, or whose cattle. Anyway, round them up and bring them in. I do wish I'd gotten a little bit better footage of them. Uh, this really didn't do it justice. Earlier, I had looked over the fence and there was this huge horn creature you know looking right back at me and uh it was you know probably a thousand pounds uh, uh there's a smaller one you actually see in the video here and uh, not sure if the one in the video was a cow or a bull um, but what i had seen was a much much larger bull probably whatever had left the uh, piles seen earlier in the video anyway um they cut my grass, <laughs> trimmed it all down. Uh, I don't think I showed that. Let me post a little clip here and I'll show you how uh, how much they had eaten the grass down. I don't know if I have any other photos of it when it was longer, but it was getting pretty long and I was going to show you guys the special lawnmower, uh, but instead it's the uh, mad cows. Oh boy. Well, looks like I don't have to mow the lawn anymore. <laughs> they, uh, someone called in the natural lawnmowers. 